Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. We are playing RimWorld and this is the biotech playthrough episode number 11 and if you're just joining us we defeated Diabolus last episode and so we are on the road towards our standard mech tech and as soon as we get that we're really going to start coming into our own. I'm definitely going to start thinking about the next mech boss and I'm already thinking about summoning Diabolus again this episode just to fight it uh, you know just to kind of farm it i mean i feel like if we can smash the body for components and steel why not farm it you know now i understand that it will come back stronger and stronger with more mechs each time and eventually apparently we have to fight like multiple diabluses if we spawn in enough but i think the second time we can probably still handle it last episode we uh we didn't have to fire a single shot because our traps took it all out but uh Anyway, in case you're wondering why I'm focused here on Haishish here, uh, it's because I mentioned last episode, if anybody wanted their name changed, to go ahead and call it out. Well, no one did, which is fine, but uh, I have, think I have a particular commenter in mind for this one here. So I'm going to change this guy's name right off the bat, and we're going to go with D.D. Dietrich and uh i've got to remember how to spell it all right there we go dd welcome to the colony here you are once again a part of our group now i just want to show you uh, i'll give you an overlook he does have a, a bum leg here he's also got a few a few scars a lot of our people are scarred up but uh, in terms of his abilities he is a very good pawn he's a jogger despite his peg leg so that kind of compensates he's uh he's a really good mover uh psychically dull which has its advantages shooting construction plants and animals is where this guy really uh you know shines and of course he's our artist too now i did set that up i believe let me double check yeah dd you are now currently our artist so i'm gonna make sure that's yep just for you buddy get to work whenever you wake up you know so someone also pointed out that i had larson assigned incorrectly to the tailoring here yeah see i had this i was thinking crafting was going to force him to tailor but i don't know what i was thinking there yeah i should have tailoring set to number one if that's what i want him to do all right perfect thank you for pointing that out i appreciate that cave angel all right we're looking good yeah so uh there were several other comments just giving me general information about like, you know, eventually my Mechanator will need to leave the colony, you know, and travel on some caravans. And I assume that's going to be to level up, you know, but, uh, cause I had said, oh, I don't think I'll ever send him out of the colony. <laughs> well, that's not going to be an option unless we want to stay, uh, under leveled. We're going to need to send them out. So that's cool. I'm glad I have that info. I'm, at least I can try and prepare for it, work towards that, you know. But I know right now, at least, to summon the next boss, we got to focus on research. So we're going to get this little bit of crafting done here. And then we're going to get Larson back onto the research bench. Of course, Dungus, too, he's on it. All right, I think we're set. We can speed things up. Oh no, Agrahan 2 hit a trap. Well, guess what? Our master mechanator will come and fix him. I love how quick and easy it is to repair these guys. Very nice, very nice, beautiful. And he's back on the job. We love it. Oh, donkeys. Now this, I'm happy about. You know what? We're gonna keep the donkeys 100% and we are going to butcher up our pigs. I'm not really interested in the pigs, and the donkeys are far more preferable. So I think the sow is pregnant. Is she pregnant? Yeah, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll let her go ahead and have her baby. We'll, we'll butcher up the male. We'll let the female go ahead and have the baby. We'll wait, and then we'll butcher her. And we'll let the baby pig uh, grow up to maturity before we butcher it. So we'll have a slow, you know, steady supply of pork for a relatively short time. Oh look, donkey pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the donkeys are far more preferable. Uh, we can eat them and we can use them for caravanning. So that's that's pretty awesome. Thank you, Randy. Ooh, we got some plasteel, some steel out of that. I didn't notice any components though. That's what I really care about for now. I'm not seeing any components off these little guys. That's okay. We'll probably still spawn them again and just farm them. Maybe he'll drop different things next time although somehow i doubt that but 
No worries, we'll scare scare up some components somehow. I'm sure of it. Baby's born, mama is dead. Aw, so sad. Goodbye, little pig. Alright, it's time to come out here and give this sloth a nice big group hug, I think. Hey, Mr. Sloth, how are you today? What do they call you? Megatherium? Let's, let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of a mega hug we can give you. I'll quit running. Come back here. We need your textiles. I'm not even going to refer to it as fur. That's that's too personal. I, I prefer to keep this more impersonal. So he's made of textiles and hamburgers. Come on, Larson. Get your slow butt out of there. Oh, Christ, guys. This was probably a mistake, wasn't it? He's going after Larson, too, of course. So we'll move Larson. Keep moving, Larson. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop, buddy. Dehungus, fall back a slight bit. Do not stop. Oh, crap. No! <gasps> what? Stop hitting. Oh, thank God. So right now, our best doctor is in prison. Oops. All right, let's get you back over here, boys. Alright, yeah, that was a little bit... Uh, of a dumb move. I should have brought the other two Mechanotors. It doesn't know, or Militors. I don't know what I was thinking there, but um, yeah, Larson's got some serious damage here. Um, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with it. I should probably mark this guy now to be hunted. Death in five hours? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you, Dace Robots. You guys have done your part. Now, Dehungus, who is our next best doctor? Yeah, Dungus is. All right, Dungus, get on it. We're going to use some good old regular medicine here for Larson. Let's pay very close attention here. Make sure he's safe. Oh, Well, that's okay. That just gives us more incentive to get the prosthetics going, you know, which is something that uh, I thought we worked on. Didn't we? I'll have to check that out. But, yeah, once we get... Um, some pro yeah I do I have the basics built so uh, I don't know we'll see I don't maybe that yeah we can replace something for him but we're gonna wait until Saku gets out of prison here let's take a look at her yeah he's got a little while to go before he gets converted good news is as soon as he's converted we'll just release him and he'll rejoin the colony immediately so we don't have to wait around for him to be recruited who kind of a kind of a little uh Oh, look, he's still alive. <laughs> he just got back up. Uh, that's okay. Larson's still going to take his revenge on the Mega Sloth. Good job, Larson. You can barely see her here anymore, but you're fine. You're fine. Oh, oh boy. Uh-oh, we got a raid, folks. And I was just about to have, us, uh, have these guys replace the outer walls. Well, let's hold off on that for right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Muster everybody up. Like to take this seriously. Let's get all the mechs mustered. Come on, boys and girls. We're gonna we're gonna do a real raid here. We're gonna act like this is a serious threat. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, I tell you what. Maybe we got a potential uh, new colonist here. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a potential new eyeball and ear for uh, our good friend Larson. <laughs> I don't know. Let's. Where are they going? They are attacking immediately. So, let's follow them all the way to the base. Most of them are probably going to fall to our traps, but no worries. I like to, I like to get everybody prepared and ready just in case. Hmm. Ooh. I think that's a waster. No dirt mole. Oh, cool. I haven't seen one of those yet. I almost forgot about them. Yeah, this guy's tough. Too bad he died. She died. Well, we got one mole person here. That's kind of cool. Wait, let's look at these others. Should we make an effort to go after them? Duh, duh, duh. Eh, no. Well, Neanderthal would be kind of cool, but they suck as a pawn. 
Nah. All right, let's look at this person here. Well, do we take this person? Abrasive Night Owl Slowpoke. Oh my God, look at the mining. I am so tempted. We need a good miner like this. Like, Larson's a decent miner, but he's got other stuff he could be doing too. This is a decent pawn, except for her traits. Hmm. Well, tell you what, let's see here. Five hours. We're going to go ahead and capture her anyway. Dark Bear, that's not what I care about. I'm going to look at her faction. Uh, Thrum War. Yeah, see, we could eventually release her and maybe, you know, get good with her faction. But uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and pick her up and save her life. We do have a prisoner already, so I'm a little reluctant to keep, like, two prisoners like this. And then try and recruit him at the same time. And this is a much, much better pawn here. Slick is awesome. If, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep this other one on hand at least until one of them gets healed up. Which will probably be Slick first. Then we'll decide what to do. Because technically we do have three prisoners now. Because Saku is included in this group. So they could prison break oh look she's healed already <laughs> uh she's got a while to go too before we are even converted her over so slick is in prison art for a while but we definitely want her let's look at this one i think i think we might just harvest some organs from her and like wait yeah i'm gonna harvest what do we need oh god he is so beat up. Eye, ear. We could take a couple arms and a foot. I might just see if we can remove a bunch of stuff from it. I'm going to remove a bunch of stuff. Because we're going to replace some of these injuries here if possible. We'll see what we can do. What kind of gear are you wearing? Nothing. Okay. Perfect. Let's... Almost forgot. Let's set her to paste and... Yeah. Herbal meds is fine. Ah, uh, yes. Good old Constructoids getting the, uh, getting the traps you're done. All right, so now I think we're probably safe to replace some of these walls. Oh, awesome. A bulk goods trader. Let's get, uh, let's get doing that. Okay, let's see what we got here from this trade ship. Oh... More pigs. Oh, they got some cows. We're not worried about too many more animals right now. Although, uh, DD is doing a great job with the animals. We don't really need any. We got 1,100. <sighs> Definitely want their components. Absolutely. Even if it takes every last silver I've got. Um, I'm going to sell them this light leather. I'll get rid of the jade, too. I was also advised by a commenter to don't trade these or get rid of these. Keep the signal chips. I'm going to save it. Yeah, we get rid of those cloth pants. Bed rolls. Maybe I'll sell these normal ones. Just keep the good ones. If we need more, we can always build more. Alright, we're looking pretty good. If all we get out of this guy is components, I'll be happy. Now, he does have some medicine, too. But... I'm surprised he doesn't want any of our Psychite tea. Did I miss that? Mm, oh well. That's good enough. Glad we got those components for sure. Now where did it drop them? <laughs> oh god, who knows. Oh, uh, lifters will get them eventually, I hope. Alright, I'm going to slowly replace these walls with granite. I'm going to do it one by one. I'm not going to take down everything at once. We'll wait. Little by little. Ooh, we've also got a few skulls to harvest. Wonderful. You know where those are going. Right next to your bed. Awesome. Standard mech tech is done. So the question is, what do we go to next? I'm actually thinking about backtracking now and going to the Psychite refining. Um, yeah, eventually we definitely want to get up to Go Juice, but this is a good first step. I'd like to have some Yayo available. Uh, just, uh, just in, for general purpose use, basically. After that, though... Hmm. We should probably still really be focused on our mech tech, like what what else I can do over here. Maybe maybe go for the multi-analyzer, because I can tell already fabrication is going to be huge. Something we're really going to need to push for. 
then again also i would like to get some weapons going ah so many choices guys so many choices but right now we're gonna get the drug production because i've got the bench ready i've got a, a storage unit set up so we can put the uh any excess neutronamine we get right there we're gonna put yayo here and i think i've got it set so now not 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 just anybody can use Yayo, but I think I will allow Dehungus, because he's one of these guys who needs it. He's a waster. Um, right now he's just using the T, which is fine, but you know, having a little Yayo on stock is good. All right, this is not good. This is what I wanted to avoid. So Ripley is up. Let's see here. Now, is this going to set everybody wild if I start harvesting stuff? Uh. I hate that we can't harvest their eyes or ears. Shoot. That must be from a mod. Another mod. Can't take their legs or anything either. Hmm. I tell you, I think we're just going to go ahead and release. Now, I know somebody's told me that we should extract. I had a commenter mention we should extract blood from these guys and sell it. We'll do that. We'll extract a little bit of blood. I just want to test it out. Just see what, what's all, what it's all about. I don't know. I've never used any of this blood stuff, so we'll see what happens. All right, looks like just a regular operation, basically. Why is Larson doing it? Oh, I do have him set to doctor. <laughs> Even though he's a two, geez. Geez, yeah, desperate we are if uh, one Saku is out of the bag. Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah, so that hurt her by one. We got one Hemogen pack. Doesn't need to be refrigerated. Worth five dollars. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we traded one herbal medicine, which is probably worth more than that. Ten dollars for something that's worth five dollars. I mean, it's definitely probably increasing the medical abilities. That's something that would be worth the, the cost, but I didn't notice. I assume it's increasing medical skill when they do that, but I don't know. Anyway, I think... Uh, Oh, look, it does give him blood loss. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. I think what we'll do as soon as she's healed again, we'll just release her. Oh, and she's healed again. Yeah, I'm just a little nervous about prison breaks because I do not want either of these two pawns getting hurt or seriously are hurt. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to avoid it at all costs. Hey, who's that? Saku, good job. She's in, uh, Saku's injured because they actually got into a social fight. Dungus tried to uh, recruit and Saku got upset. All right, so looks like we got a quest. Release. Now I can turn. Do do do. Turn the doctoring off for Larson. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's check out this quest. Brett joins, 11 year old, he's begging to join you. There's some kind of threat following Brett. Huh. If I could look at Brett, I might. And the fact that he's a child also makes me really predisposed not to do that. Uh, Saku, how are you? He's just got bumps and bruises. Get out here, Saku. Been waiting for you to be released for so long, my friend. No, 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 no. Wait, why can't I make him the Augmentator? What? Hmm, hold on. He is our religion, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Timberwolf gave birth. As soon as these guys get trained up to haul, I'm going to release them into our hauling zone. And that'll help help the lifters out a little bit. Alright. Very good. Looking nice. A gather round, everybody. Saku is being promoted to the augmentator augmentation role. Uh, yes, he's going to be our moral guy. That's just going to help us convert people a lot quicker and make everybody happy. Question is, I guess we'll give Larson the leadership role. It's not super important right now, but um, I mean, I would like to have that available. 
uh, but he sucks at social. <laughs> we'll just stop start all the rituals with Saku for now. If we get somebody better than Larson, we'll promote them. But uh, I'd like to have that buff available next time we have a raid or if we need it. So I think we will go ahead and assign him the leadership role. Boom, boom, boom. Prime super user. And whew, we got to find somebody for that production specialist. I'll tell you what. Cannot wait. I love having that over those overpowered crafters, man. It is so great. Whoever it is, they usually become my favorite pawn pretty quickly. Yay. All right. Two milestones in the colony have been achieved. Okay, I don't think I'm getting ahead of myself here if I just go ahead and go for the multi-analyzer. I mean, we don't necessarily have to go for fabrication after that, but it's going to open up so much different stuff. Like, you know, just that we need for our, uh, just for our memes and our ideologians. So, yeah, I think we'll go for that. Um, I'd also like to get another one of these down now. Take so many components. We've got them, though, so we might as well do it. Hey, a muffalo self-tames. Is that female? awesome oh, okay we're gonna keep her around i like having just a single female muffler that's great actually that's really good cool 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 i like that our little herd is growing by the day mm, plenty of chickens let me look over my animals real quick how's it look good so this rooster is big enough to start fertilizing we'll butcher him i bet i'm betting some of these eggs no they're all unfertilized all right that's fine we've got enough chickens Hens, I should say. We got enough hens that I don't really feel like we need to reproduce anymore. We're fine. Okay, well, as promised, I think we are going to summon the Diabolus again for this episode. Uh, I don't know. It didn't take long last time after I initiated it. Boom, it took no time at all. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully nobody gets stuck outside, but we're going to be good, I think. Now, the question is, is it going to survive our trap funnel again? You know, the, uh, there it is. Didn't take long at all. Awesome, awesome. Uh, the only thing we could have really done was wait for Slick to get uh, recruited up so we could add another gun on this, but I think we're going to be okay without her. She'll, uh, she'll hold up. Plus, it would have taken forever to get her recruited. All right, let's see here. Where did it spawn at? Last time it was around up there. Um, what? Well, where is it? Oh, it probably landed in drop pods. That's why. Oh, yeah. It's definitely more than the last one. Okay. Okay. So we got an extra Militor and two Pikemen. Ooh. So, yeah. I bet you we'll end up having to fight some of these guys for real. Now, they are just going to meander around for a little while. Mm. We got to really start thinking about looking into EMPs and some smoke grenades, too. Or some smoke launchers. Yeah, that's going to become crucial, I can tell, for this playthrough, definitely. Alright, as soon as they attack, we'll be right back. Okay, here they come. Let's do this. Oh, looks like the Diabolus is leading the charge. That's kind of good. He's going to take the brunt of the, uh, of the traps, at least until he gets slowed down by the traps enough for somebody to overtake him. These Militors are speedy, too. I've noticed that they only take a couple of traps to really down those guys. Oh boy, he's he's really eating those traps. How's his health? He's holding up. He's holding up, folks. He's slow now. See, they're passing him. And they're hitting the traps before he does. Oh boy. I don't know if he's gonna make it, folks. I tell you, the next one we we summon though i bet you he will make it look at the his minions oh boy okay so our militaries i've got them stationed right out in front they're gonna try they're gonna basically draw the fire here yep while everybody else gets their shots off what's he aiming at oh okay Oh, okay. He's down. Let's uh, let's see if we can draw these other long-range guys out here so we can... 
melee the crap out of them. There we go. Rush it. Melee time. Awesome. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So basically, again, just kind of farming it for the uh, for the loots. I don't know. Can we analyze the signal chip again? Let's see here. I'm going to have Larson. He needs to repair some of his uh, little mechs, but... Um, We'll see here. I'm going to have him prioritize repairing some of these mechs. DD, are you okay, buddy? You got hurt there. Oh, days two. Move over here. Perfect. Good job, everybody. Handle that pretty well. There's one of their dead Militors. What do we got? How's our lifter? Oh, we did lose an aggro hand. That's okay. We can repair it very easily. So things are looking pretty sweet. Wait, get back here. That's repairing. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't know about the signal chip. I'm going to investigate that once we get all this cleared up. But I know that after looking at the wiki, it said, you know, it steadily gets, like, more and more difficult. And like I said, you will have to face multiple Diaboluses eventually. But um, I'm just wondering if it is beneficial to have multiple signal chips, you know, because we'll, I'll do this every episode. <laughs> uh no, but once I said we do need to get better prepared in terms of our EMPs and our smoke and stuff, because you can see that actually was a little bit of a fight. Not challenging, but you know, we had to we had to shoot a full few bullets that time. So we'll see what happens. I should start to really focus on trying to get up to the next one too. Um, now I've forgotten exactly what we need to summon. I think she's called the War Queen. Is that the next boss? But we're looking into that for sure. Oh, good. What's Saku doing? I had her dra or had him drafted, so he's okay. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Bringing it back to the stockpile. See, I, it doesn't show that there's anything to do with that, so... I assume this is already used up. It says, cannot study, already studied there at the bottom. Alright, well, we have an extra one. That's okay. I guess you can't have too many, uh, whatever they're called, too many signal chips, right? Cool, cool. Oh, we've also got two human skulls. Let's lay those out for celebration. Where should we put them? Probably in the hospital. Yeah, we don't have any in there. That's looking good. I threw down some floors in here. Kind of beautified things a little bit. I think that'll help. Yeah, the marble flooring will help. So that's going to be nice. Because people will eventually, we'll spend a lot of time in here with certain pawns. And I'm going to get some floors laid out. Probably concrete over here. And concrete in here as well. Nothing fancy for those. This one I'm still leaving just because we want, you know. Uh, I want to keep this impressive with all our daylilies growing. So it's handy to have dirt in here, believe it or not. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and extend it a little bit right there. Yep, yep, yep. Very cool. How's our pemmican holding up? We've got 173. Saku was just released from prison recently, so that's probably why we're kind of kind of light on the pemmican. It's not a big deal. We're not using it like it's serious to eat. We're still using the paste, but I want to have a stockpile of it so we can go caravanning. Oh yeah, All right, let's let's get this out of the ground. Hmm. I'm a little curious why we don't have more rice or corn right now. Did I set it to... Yeah, they should be harvesting this stuff. I think we need a bigger rice zone for sure. Do we have any more fertile soil here? Oh, we do. Yeah, we're going to set this to be rice right here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you guys. You're on top of things. I love that, but uh, you're getting ahead of yourselves. We are not doing potatoes here. Rice. Yep, that'll help. That'll help. I had way too small of a rice stock, uh, rice zone here, didn't I? Oh my gosh, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me this episode, guys. We have officially run out of time, but I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, like I said, we're going to work towards summoning that War Queen as soon as possible, guys. So come back next time, and we're going to keep progressing. All right, guys. I'll see you then.